To taste amazing coffee without additives or extra processing, the beans need to grow in the right environment. For millennia, Ethiopia has had just that. Thanks to its mountainous southern regions and deep rich soil, Ethiopia is the natural home of thousands of coffee varieties. Because of these ideal conditions, coffee in Ethiopia is often grown without the need for agricultural chemicals, making Ethiopian coffee beans superior in quality. This is unlike coffee grown in other parts of the world, where coffee farmers have no choice but to use chemicals and engineered varieties or provide artificial shade for their coffee trees. When you get coffee beans from Ethiopia, you are getting coffee as it was meant to be. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at seven different Ethiopian coffees and share with you our favorites. Ethiopian coffee is known for its floral, bright, and fruity flavors, usually with a higher acidity, a light to medium body, and a complex flavor profile. Ethiopian coffees are also one of the rare coffees that you can experience that blueberry note. So people are often looking for a blueberry bomb coffee, and you should look no further than Ethiopian coffees. Although not all Ethiopian coffees have this blueberry-like flavor, some of the ones we reviewed today certainly do. So there are three main districts in Ethiopia where coffee is grown. Firstly, Yergachev, which is a small town famous for producing some of the world's best coffee beans. Most producers in Yergachev favor wet processing, yielding brighter coffee beans with lighter bodies. Secondly, Guji is another prominent coffee producing region that is located south of Sadama. Some of the world's best coffee roasters regularly flock to Guji for their beans. Guji tends to have a tea-like body and sweet floral notes, kind of like jasmine with peach and melon. Lastly, in the east, you can find Hurrah, and that's where delicious dry processed coffee beans with syrupy bodies are produced. The beans tend to have a wild, fruity character with a whiny taste. So let's take a look at some of the Ethiopian coffees we reviewed. We'll start with Jim's Organic Ethiopian Sadama Nura Karata Coffee. This Ethiopian Sadama comes from Nura Karata, which is part of the Sadama Coffee Farmers Co-op. We weren't overly impressed with this coffee. While it wasn't a bad coffee, it didn't taste particularly fresh, and it was hard to figure out what smoky flavor was intended versus what was a result of over-roasting. So next up, we have Cooper's Ethiopian Whole Bean Coffee. Now, this is a great choice if you're passionate about supporting small-time Ethiopian coffee farmers. These are farm gate coffee beans, which means the beans were bought directly at the farmer's gate. This means that the beans come from a single farm or field, and they could be categorized as single origin and micro lot coffee products. With floral notes of nectar, raw honey, lemon tart, and coupled with a citrusy vibe, Cooper's is not a bad coffee but it's hard to recommend it over some of the other options higher up on our list. Next up, we have Birch Coffee's Ethiopia Yogachev. Now, this one doesn't have too much information available apart from it being grown at an altitude of 5,000 plus feet and that it's roasted by New York coffee chain Birch Coffee. Overall, this coffee is good, but maybe not quite as good as the other two Yogachevs we've reviewed. The taste is tangy and light bodied with fruity layers, and it's got notes of floral, honey, strawberry, and lemon, and a touch of grassiness. This would be ideal to sip black. Next, we have Volcanica's Ethiopian Yergachev. This is from the Yergachev region where coffee trees grow in the wild. The beans which are not collected in the wild are sourced from estates or farms. Volcanica is known for roasting fresh coffee beans and shipping them out faster than its competitors. So we found this to be a fun coffee with interesting flavors that are a slight twist on the traditional yoga chef. We'd rank it right alongside La Cologne and would definitely recommend it. The taste was noticeably strong with floral and fruity notes. There were also notes of lavender, dark chocolate, and guava, pineapple, and ripe strawberry. Next, we'll take a look at La Cologne Yoga Chev. Now, every coffee plant in the world is traceable back to the plants of the Ethiopian highlands. Ethiopia's highland region of Yergachev happens to be famous for its distinct fruity and floral coffee beans. Thanks to modern processing methods, the beans in this La Cologne roast have a medium body. Now, this is a very easy coffee to recommend and is a great example of a Yergachev. The taste was vibrant and delicious. It's got a hint of grassiness, along with a higher tangy acidity level that makes it a great coffee to sip and savor black. It's a bright cup with a sweet flavor and it's balanced with traces of honey, citrus, and fruity flavors. 
Next, we have Kawaba Coffee Kulenso Ethiopia. Now, we really enjoyed this coffee. The taste was one of blueberry, almond biscotti, jam, and lavender. A stunning and unique coffee that's incredible, no matter how it's prepared. This coffee has strong blueberry notes, which are different than those of Pete's Ethiopian Supernatural. Kawaba's blueberry is brighter, more acidic, and although this is a phenomenal coffee, it may not appeal to all palates. It also has a nutty, pastry-ish quality. This coffee is definitely worth a try and embodies the famous Ethiopian flavors. Lastly, we have Pete's Ethiopian Supernatural. Pete's Ethiopian Supernatural is a limited release coffee that Pete's promotes heavily both online and in stores. However, this promotion is with good reason. Pete's Ethiopian Supernatural is a rare example of a major chain coffee that packs strong natural blueberry notes. It's also a coffee that's likely to be a crowd pleaser as it isn't terribly acidic and is lower toned. The taste is sweet and full. It's fruity with noticeably dried blueberry and white flour. Really, this is a delicious coffee. We rated this coffee a four and a half out of five and we'd highly recommend picking up a bag while it's available. There we have it guys, our top picks when it comes to Ethiopian coffees. We hope this encourages you to try some of these amazing coffees for yourselves. You can find the links to our top picks in the description below or on our website. If you like this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.